Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we have a little bit of a different video. We're not actually doing a figure unboxing. Speaking of figure unboxings, though, I hope you like the new background. I uh, changed it up a little bit, finally got it more Dragon Ball. I'm going to be adding more to it in the future, so uh, hope you enjoy that. But today we're going to be actually opening some cards, and I'm sure you're wondering what the heck are those Epic Mewtwo? Um, I've never seen cards like these before. This isn't Dragon Ball Super Card Game or anything like that. Let me grab my... Actually, I can probably open this normally, huh? This is... Uh, well, if you've been around my channel for a hot minute, you would know what this game is um, when I tell you. It is cards from the Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game. Um, if you're unfamiliar, basically... Um, in Dragon Ball Heroes... Oh boy, how do I open this up? <laughs> Here, let me actually get a knife. Um, ah! Every video I end up dropping that camera, don't I? My tripod doesn't fit my phone with the case, that's why. Anyhow, um, basically Dragon Ball Heroes is an arcade game in Japan where you, it's kind of like you, you use amiibo sort of thing except they're cards. Um, basically you put the cards on the machine and then the characters appear in the game and um, it's pretty cool. If you look up some gameplay on YouTube, I think you'll enjoy it. Obviously I'm sure you guys have seen like all the mini movies and stuff with like the characters that are... Um, like, you know, what if kind of characters. And that's why I love Dragon Ball Heroes, because it's very, uh, very appealing to the fans, just because of all the different, like, possibilities of characters that are in the game. But I've always wanted more cards from the game. Um, the only card that I own is actually in the background right there, that Super Vegito card, um, is a Dragon Ball Heroes card. But, um, I kind of wanted more cards from the card game, so I decided to pick up a lot on eBay. Um, I got this for, let's see. Um, about nine bucks and there's 32 cards in here 24 commons and eight rares So I figured hey, why not uh, open this up for the channel since I'm buying it anyway? Um, because these are really cool and like I said, I've always wanted more Dragon Ball Heroes cards. So I figured That no pun intended <laughs> So I figured that we'd um, look at them together So we're gonna go through this here. Um, like I said or like you heard just a second ago most of these are commons, but we got some rares in here, so we'll see what we get. I have no idea what we're getting, by the way. It's like a lot, which if you don't know what that means, basically it's just like random from a big pool of cards. So looks like we got a Goten into Gotenks for the first one. That's pretty cool. So these all do have a back. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so this is another thing too. I'm assuming what this means here, let me put that up a little bit, is basically like you can shake the card on the game for certain effects the characters have. I see some shine back there. Um, so assuming that's what this Piccolo does, his nose is kind of weird, but oh well, it's all good. Um, and then the back looks like that. Pretty cool stuff. We got a TN here. Nice, nice. So the commons obviously don't have much shine on them. Um, of course, again, they're just commons like any other card game you would see. Um, this is a Boo Saga Vegeta. That's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted some cards from this game just because I think the game is really cool. Um... So I decided to pick up this lot on eBay, because why not, right? Only 10 bucks for all these cards, or 9 bucks. I figured it was a pretty good deal. All right, so we have GT Gohan. Pretty cool. He's got, like, that shattered effect. I don't know if that's a rare one. I'm assuming all the rares are going to be at the back, because um, I'm assuming that's how this person packaged it, but we'll see. Um, Piccolo-sama. I like that Piccolo a lot. That's really cool. Now, I have no idea what the stuff down here means. You know, like, the numbers. Obviously, those are stats. Um, I also assume that's like a combo thing that the characters can do. Like I said, I've never played the game before myself, unfortunately, so I can't give you too much detail on that. But I have watched gameplay and seen people like take the cards out of the machine before. It's pretty cool. This Goku art is really dope. I really like that. So it looks like... Who is that there? Is that Kid Goku? I can't tell. Either way, it looks like it's a one that you move up and down. Really cool though. Ooh, Frost! I didn't actually expect to get any... Um, Dragon Ball Super stuff because it's a mishmash of like all the different series so like the series for this card game kind of go by like the missions in the game um so I know it said it was from a bunch of different ones but I kind of didn't expect to get any Dragon Ball Super stuff um so here's the back of that frost card you know what? I'm gonna stop showing the backs just because or you know what now nah, I'll keep showing the backs um all right so we got a shattered hollow Krillin that's pretty cool I like that kid Krillin Oh boy, Mr. Satan's coming up. So that's pretty cool. We got Mr. Satan. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Breaking a brick there. Very nice. Very nice. What's the next card? Ooh, I like that Gohan art. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're getting closer to the back here. 
I really like that Gohan. Yo, the art in this game, some of it is kind of, ooh, don't get spoilers here. Some of the art in this game is kind of wonky, but for the most part, it's really cool. Um, I like it at least. All right. Yamuten Rusama. Hey, we got Magetta. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm really curious to see what that shine is in the back there. Oh, yo, that's that's a pretty cool card too. So when I would I do plan on going to Japan someday, um, and I'll definitely bring all these cards with me and use them on the arcade game. Um, I will sleeve these up, by the way, or at least the rare ones. All right. So that's a cool Go. Uh, I almost said Gohan card. That is a cool Trunks card with the uh, Gotenks art. Ooh, I like that Gohan. The face is a little bit eh. But pretty cool either way. I like that a lot. Um, they did say that if you bought another like lot of these cards, you'd probably get dupes. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy more. Um, I did just kind of want some just to have them, just because I think they're really cool. Quillen's face looks like straight up like a ball there. Um, so I don't know if I'll buy more of these. Maybe. I mean, it's only nine bucks for one, you know, like stack. So that's pretty dope. Uh, that's Pan right there. Hey, we finally got a Boo. That's pretty cool. We did get a big variety of characters, which I do really like. This guy did a good job um, not just giving us a bunch of the same stuff. So that's pretty neat. All right, so we got a Bardock. That is really cool. Really like that art. So, like, the common cards like these are, you know, they're kind of just like, you know, this flat, not really much shine to them. We got, um... Bergamo? Yeah. Why did why did I forget his name? Ooh, okay, so that's one of the um the time breakers right there. That's Shun Shun or whatever. I don't remember. I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Super Card Game videos, yeah. I remember seeing them. Okay. The next comment I'm really excited about. Yo, that's pretty dope. So the next one, this is all Xeno characters. So that's Xeno Goku, Xeno Ve uh I almost said Vegito. Vegeta and Xeno Trunks. That is awesome right there. Really like that. Okay, let me just do something in the background here. All right, we good. Just want to make sure that we're still recording on the audio end. All right. Oh, and there's the other one. Cool. All right, so this is technically a Trunks card, not the other ones, but they're just in the art. Either way, that's really cool. All right, so we got the other one, too. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so that's an adult Goten. Um, oh, and I think we're starting to get to the rares at the end. All right, so this is an adult Goten um, with the adult Gotenks card. That is really cool. Ooh, let's take a look at that Goku in a second here. Alright, so this is a kid Goku. That is really cool. I like the shine on that. That's really awesome. So obviously you can see like the gold. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It looks a lot better in person, but the gold is very shiny. We're kind of getting it spoiled. Ooh, Toa. Okay. So that's the back there. This Toa is very interesting. Her face kind of looks a little bit goofy, but... You know what? I'll take it. Very cool. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, so that's the Toa. So we got Gohan, Tien, and Piccolo. Er, Tien, oh my gosh. Krillin, I, I blinked and I saw the wrong thing. Gohan's face looks kind of stretched, but that's okay. I do really like the, um, how they do the shine on these cards. Ooh, we got a Mira. Alright. So that's really cool. Really like that. Ah, that art is fantastic, bro. See that one? That, oof. That, that's really dope. I really like that Mira. That's really awesome. Hoping we get a Goku here. Well, not that Goku. <laughs> Alright, so that's the back there. Oh, interesting. He's with the, um, the Majin characters. Alright. So this is a GT Goku. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, 18. Nice. Alright, interesting. So he doesn't... Also, this is from Super Dragon Ball Heroes. As you can see, it says Super Dragon Ball Heroes on the back. That 18 is pretty dope. That is a uh, Tournament of Power 18, I believe. Ooh, yo! That... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a look to appreciate this one first. Alright, that is super dope. I think we have... Okay, we have three more cards left. Yo, that art is fantastic! Kale, Khalifa, and Hit. Yo... That is super dope. And the gold has a little bit of a different shading than the rest of them. I don't know if you can see that on camera too well, but that is super cool. Ooh, we got a Vegeta. Okay. Not Majin Vegeta, but that is technically a hit card. Also, I'm getting a phone call. I put this on Do Not Disturb. Dang it. All right. Sorry about that. I got a phone call in the middle of recording. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. Anyway. Very cool, though. I like that Vegeta a lot. 
Kind of looks like he's doing a spirit bomb, but obviously that's not what's happening there. Oh, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll have to look at that, what that one is in a second. I'm very excited about that. Okay, so. Ooh, that is really cool. Avatar card. Okay, so what this is then, um, is basically, this is the card, um, that you would store your created character on. I'm assuming, anyway. Um, it looks different from what I've seen in pictures. I mean, obviously, I, you know, I don't live in Japan, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but... All of these characters um, are actually from the Dragon Ball Heroes Victory Mission manga. Um, I know some of their names. I don't remember them all right now, though. Um, that's Froze. Um, that's Kagyu, I think. That's obviously Beat and Note. What is that guy's name? It starts with an R. I don't remember. Either way, though, these two are rivals. Um, this guy and this guy fight in the manga. Um, Froze fights... I don't remember who he fights. Either way, though, um, so I'm assuming this is the one that you, like, store your actual avatar on and maybe your data? I don't know. Um, this could be what that's for? I don't know if this is actually where you store it, you know, because, like, obviously, like, your progress in the arcade game, you need to store it on, like, a specific card. I don't know if that's what this one is. But either way, though, you can see on the back here, it's got all of the different, um like classes you can be and this is when they get powered up um so like this is their first form um obviously they're still in base but it's like in dragon ball heroes in terms of the um like the created characters are different there's different classes so like they class up as you play through the game so like this is the first class this is the second class and this is the third class um and they get more powerful as they go along as you can kind of see the design changes a little bit um on the front obviously they're in like their super forms but still um, that is really cool Shows you a couple different variations of the characters there too Because um, like these are different Saiyans going along the top. Um, this guy's actually in the manga, too um, A couple of these characters aren't on the front, but that are in the manga actually aren't all these guys in the manga I think everyone but these like Supreme Kai of time characters now that I'm looking at are all in the manga Yeah, except for maybe this guy, but either way that's really cool. So I'm assuming that either this is where you store your game data or like, you know, as your physical avatar progresses, you store it on here. But that is really cool that it has all of like, uh, or most of the, you know, like custom characters on here. That's really cool. By the way, this guy is Super Saiyan 1. He's just got really long hair, kind of like a Raditz type character. So that is really cool. That is all I have. I guess I'll just show you. I never really like brought it up close to before, but this is the Super Vegito card I have. It's just kind of a crystal hollow. It came with a manga that I bought. Um, still really cool though. But yeah, no, so that's everything in terms of the Dragon Ball Heroes cards. Um, like I said, this was 32 bucks. Um, or not 32 bucks, oh my gosh. Eight, or excuse me, nine dollars, geez, for um, 32 cards including um eight rares at the back let's actually see wait one two three four five six seven eight nine. Oh, okay so the dragon ball um the uh, the created character card was an extra so we still got eight rares including that last one so that's pretty cool i am very excited about that i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it was a little bit something different i know it was a little bit longer than it maybe could have but i was just going casually you know i wanted to enjoy the art on the cards you know like obviously this stuff is really cool um like i said when i go to japan i'll definitely be using these in the card game i'm gonna sleeve these up right after this video um but these are really cool cards i really like them Either way, though, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. Epic Me 2 out. Peace.